Good morning, Falcons. We're here at Google and we're looking for a picture of a pineapple. We're starting to put together our portrait and I thought a pineapple might make a good head with hair already attached. So I'm going to go to images here and using the tools control I'm going to look for a large size image. I'd like a photograph. I like to make my life easy and get it on a white background. As I look at the pictures, I see a size here. And as I filter through the pictures, because I can simply, you know, kind of scroll through them and pick the best one, I'm looking for one that has a relatively good size. I like this picture right here. So I'm going to right click it with my mouse and use Save Image As to create a download. Now this particular picture has a horrible name. So I'm going to get rid of that and put in a good name, Pineapple 1 APP. and it's going to go to the desktop as a JPEG and I'm going to save it. If you should happen to get an image that is going to download as something other than a JPEG, you want to find another image. Here in Photoshop, let's click on Photoshop, I already have a file going with my strawberries and a couple other fruits that I took from the original file and as I brought them over here and used paste each image created a layer. This is the layers window and I'm going to use the eyeball to show you what is on each layer. There's my strawberries and we're going to use file open to go to the desktop and get our pineapple and we're going to use the quick select tool and new selection to make a selection of that pineapple And there we go. I think I got the, I think that's looking pretty good. So I'm going to make a copy and bring it over to my new document and paste it. Now, here it's become layer 5, but it's covering everything else up and I really want it to be the head. So I'm going to drag it to the bottom of the stack everything else is now on top and I want to rearrange it accordingly. Now the head could probably get moved around. All right, I think I'm going to take this, uh, this is the kiwi here and the kiwi is going to become an eye and I'm going to take the strawberries and I want to put them as earrings so I'm going to tilt them a little bit or I could actually push one behind let's take one of those strawberries push it behind the pineapple and then take the other strawberry put it over here I can turn things and I can change their size. So the Kiwi Eye, this might be too big. Let's go ahead and make it smaller. Under Edit, you have a control called Transform. And you can actually access by using Command T on the T keyboard for free transform. We're going to go to Scale, which is the artist's term for size. And take it from a corner, shrink it, move it, and click Check on the option bar to tell the computer we're ready and finished and this is the size we really want. Now um, this tomato here I was actually going to turn into a mouth but I don't really want it to be open so I'm going to cut this thing in half using the marquee tool. We're going to draw a rectangle over half of the picture, get the move tool, pick it up and move it over and hit the delete key on the keyboard, make it go away. I like the kiwi, let's take the kiwi, that's the kiwi right there, we're going to right click it and select duplicate layer, 
This is going to give us a matching kiwi. There's my eyes, my mouth, my strawberry. I was I wasn't sure if I was going to turn it into like a a dress or a nose. Let's use command T on the keyboard and shrink it down and turn it into the nose. That's a good size. Check. Now I got a few things I want to do to the body, but it's looking like a good head. We're going to go ahead and save the image. This is the first time I'm saving it, so I'm using save as. And I'm going to call it fruit head. And I'm going to save it to the desktop as a PSD, which is a Photoshop document. I still have some work to do for the body, but I'm almost there, and I'm really liking the way it's coming out. And this is the end of putting it together.